children, a great and happy day to you. How are you? I hope you are all doing well. By the way, I am Teacher Carmel and I will be with you today to listen to another story from the Bible. Before that, please prepare the following. Pencil or pen, paper or notebook, and coloring material. We will use that later in our activities. Come on and let's start. We will pray first to God. So please stand, close your eyes, and listen carefully as if you are saying the prayer. Abba, our Father King, God who is holy, glorious, and almighty Lord, thank you very much for the new life and strength you have given us, and thank you very much for your blessing. We ask for forgiveness for our sins. May we prepare ourselves and be worthy of worshiping you. Please join us in listening to your lessons and helping our teacher teach them so that we may learn a lot. Most of all, guide us by your Holy Spirit in our studies. This is our request and thanksgiving in the name of God, Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Before we go to our story, children, we will have an activity first. I am a banana that is always honest too. Draw the shapes of a key, a crayon, and a car on the left side of your paper, like in the picture. On the right side, write the following. Number one, within the household. Number two, in school. Number three, in the community. Put colors on it and post it on your house and front door. Are you finished doing the activity, Pamana? That's great. Now let's move on to knowing our story for today. Pamana children. Do you have good manners? Our story today has to do with honest behavior. As Pamana, let what we say to anyone, especially to our God, be right and true. Don't let ourselves lie, children, because this is bad and has a punishment from God. Just like the story about Ananias and Sapphira, that can be read in Acts chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Here is the story. One day, there was a man named Ananias, who together with his wife Sapphira bought a farm. He kept part of the value for himself. His wife also knows this. He brought some portions and laid them at the feet of the apostles. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart so that you lie to the Holy Spirit and keep part of the value of the land for yourself? When it remains with you, is it not yours? When it was sold, was it not under your power? Why have you planned this thing in your heart? You did not lie to people, but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell and died. All who heard these things were terrified. The young man got up, wrapped him up, carried him out, and buried him. After about three hours, his wife arrived. She entered without knowing what had happened. And Peter told him, Tell me if you sold the land for such a great price. She answered, Yes, at this significant cost. Peter said to her, Why did you agree to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of the one who buried your husband are at the door. 
and they will bring you out. The woman immediately fell at Peter's feet and died. When the young men entered, they found her dead. They brought her home and buried her next to her husband. And there was a great fear in the whole assembly and in all who heard these things. There you go, kids. We have heard another story from which we can learn again. That's why let's discover the vital lesson that the story wants to teach us. Always be an honest amena. Just like the word honest, we children must be honest. Even if we have a problem and the situation is complicated, let's stay honest and trustworthy. Remember, lying is forbidden and wrong. Let's not imitate Ananias and Sapphira who were not real. Disagree and do not side with wrongdoings. Children, remember, wrong is wrong. Even if many people or acquaintances do it, let's not imitate Sapphira who went along with what her husband did wrong. Okay, those are the lessons we must learn. Let's go to our activity now. Are you ready, kids? Get a clean piece of paper and a pencil. Then, answer the following questions. Number 1. Who was not faithful to the apostles according to the story? Number 2. Which apostle said what Ananias and Sapphira did wrong? Number 3. Connect the statement of an apostle based on the story. Why have you planned this thing in your heart? You did not lie to people, but to... Number 4. What necessary behavior should Epomena have based on this story? Number 5. What would you say when you accidentally broke your aunt's flower base and were asked who broke it? can be read in 1st John chapter 3 verse 18 Dear children let us not love with words or speech but with actions and in truth Abba our father king who is holy glorious and almighty thank you for the lessons you taught us today we understood that being honest and obedient to your commandments is essential. Please help us to apply the lessons we have learned. May you always guide us and help us. This is our prayer and gratitude in the name of God, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Thank you for listening, children. Have a blessed week ahead. See you again next time. Peace, pa! Everything. He fought me high.
how to praise Him. He taught me how to sing a song. He taught me how to love Him. He made me a little servant of the Lord. My Lord is amazing. My God, my only King. Gives me anything, teaches everything. He taught me how to praise Him. He taught me how to sing a song. He taught me how to love Him. He made me a little servant of the Lord. He made me a little servant of the Lord.